we are now going to continue with the value of Covidian FT10 from maintenance check services by verifying the cross coupling found on page 6-21 of the service manual. In order to perform this test, we're going to take the shorted single foil CQM pad found with the QES3, connect this to the REM port of the Violet Covidian FT10. This will now go to the very below of the QES3. Then we're going to take our second cable and connect it to the output jack for monopolar 1 of the value of Covidian FT10. And use our red cable to connect the variable high to the handpiece adapter. Once selected, we're going to select generate output of the QES3 and select the 200 ohm load by rolling the knob up. Once 200 ohms is selected, we're going to go to the value of Covidian FT10 and all readings should be between 0 and 150 milliamps. So on the FT10 we're going to select the bipolar resection cut, push to RF mode, the down arrow to BPR cut, max and we're going to go to effect 6 for max setting, start continuous on the QES3 and activate on the FT10. We currently have 3 milliamps of output and here we're reading 186 milliamps of output. Deactivate and hold values. We're not going to deactivate no hold values on the FT10. Stop on the QES3. We're now going to select bipolar high. Go to the RF mode. Bipolar high. It is important to note that the, both of these units are not touching each other and are non conductive surfaces. Once here in bipolar high, we're going to push up here to 95 watts. 200 ohm load in QES3. Start continuous. Activate on the value of Covidian FT10. It's below, we have no reading right now, so this means there's no energy coming through that port. Stop on the FT10 and deactivate no hold on the Violet Covidian FT10. We're now going to select Monopolar 2 Coag Spray. Monopolar 2. Monopolar 2 port and 120 watts. So we're going to push the up arrow. Start continuous. Activate. And we're reading 37 milliamps with an output of. 0.0173 amps, so 17.3 milliamps on the FT10. Deactivate no hold, stop on the QES3. Lastly, we're going to check the monopolar 2 cut pure burn. Hit the RF mode, select pure, 300 watts, we're going to push your up arrow. Once 300 watts is selected, start continuous to the QES3 and activate on the Violet Covidian FT10. Again, between 0 and 150 milliamps, we're reading 36 milliamps on the QES3 with an output of 28.6 milliamps on the FT10. Deactivate and no hold. This completes the cross coupling uh, chassis leakage of the FT10. We're now going to verify cross coupling for mono 2 output. So we're going to take the cable out of monopolar 1, connect it into monopolar 2, 
Once collected in monopolar 2, we're going to go to monopolar 1 as per the service manual. And we're going to select 300 watts, which we're already we're still out from the prior, previous test. 200 on load in the QH3. Start continuous. Activate Value Lab FT10. We are reading 42 milliamps, wealth and tolerance of 0 to 150. And we have an output of 26.8 milliamps on the FT10. Deactivate, no hold. Stop the QH3. The manual now have a select monopolar 1 coag spray. RF mode, spray, monopolar 1, and 120 watts. Once 120 watts is selected, start continuous on the QES3, activate on the FT10. Our reading is 42 milliamps on the QES3, and our output is 17.4 on the FT10. Deactivate and hold on the, Q on the FT10, stop on the QES3. We are now going to select bipolar high, RF mode, Bipolar high, 95 watts, push the up arrow. We're going to still be on, connected to the monopolar 2 port, activating the monopolar 1 port. 95 watts, start continuous, activating the FT10. There is no reading, so that means we have no amperage coming across. So bipolar. Deactivate, no hold, stop on the QAS3. A bipolar resection cut, hit the RF mode, bipolar resection cut, effect 6, start continuous on the QAS3, activate on the FT10. We have a reading of 3 milliamps, and our output is 18 is 186.1 milliamps on a bipolar output. So being that we're at 3 milliamps, we're well off in tolerance. Stop in the QES3, deactivate no hold on the FT10. That completes the mono 2 cross coupling check of the FT10. We're now going to read the bipolar cross coupling check of the FT10. This is step four found on page 16-23 of the service manual. To perform this test, we're going to disconnect the monopolar one, connect it into the bipolar leftmost port. We're going to disconnect the REM coupling, or CQL, and we're going to take our black variable low cable, connect it to the black variable low, and the rightmost port of the bipolar in the FT10. Make sure, again, that both of the switches are completely compressed on the FT10. Once this is completed, we're going to put a 200 ohm load, which is still there from the previous test in the QES3. We're going to select bipolar resection cut, effect 6 on the, Q, on the FT10. Start continuous on the QAS3 and activate on the FT10. Since we're coming out of the ligature port and testing the bipolar port, our reading is 0 milliamps on the QAS3. Deactivate, no hold on the QAS on the FT10. Stop on the QAS3. We're now going to test mono 2 coag spray. We're going to select the RF mode and go up to spray, monopolar 2, 120 watts. Our reading should be between 0 and 50 milliamps. Start continuous on the QS3, activate at the FT10. We have no reading which is fine because we should be sending energy out of this port but we're measuring out of the bipolar port. Deactivate no hold on the FT10, stop on the QES3. 
The last test we're going to do as part of the bipolar current is monopolar one. So we're going to select monopolar one, and we'd like us to select cut pure. Pure. Oh. Pure. 300 watt max setting. Monopolar. Start continuous. Activate on the FT10. No readings, we have zero milliamps. The reading on our QAS3. Well within the zero to 50 tolerance, milliamp tolerance of the FT10. Deactivate, no hold. Stop on QAS3. Ligature bipolar. Again, we're going to disconnect and remove the bipolar cables. and replace them with the ligature cables. Right to the variable high, to the leftmost port of the ligature, black ligature cable from variable low, to the rightmost port of the ligature port. According to the manual, we'd like to select the 200 ohm load, which we still have from the previous test. We are now going to select monopolar one, pure cut, 300 watts on the FT10. Start continuous, activate on the FT10. Our reading should be between zero and 50 milliamps. We're at four milliamps, well within the tolerance. Deactivate on the QAS3, stop on the FT10. We are now going to select bipolar high by going to the RF mode. Down button, bipolar high, 95 watts. Start continuous in the QAS3. Activate the FT10. There's no reading, it says well below. Because we're testing the latest report by activating the bipolar port. So we're going to deactivate, no hold, on the FT10, stop on the QAS3. Lastly, we're going to select monopolar 2 coag spray. So we're going to select coag spray, monopolar 2 port, max setting, 120 watts. Start continuous on the QAS3, activate on the FT10. There is no reading, so it's zero milliamps on the QAS3, well within the zero to 50 milliamp tolerance of the FT10. Deactivate no hold, stop on the QAS3.